Hey there, folks, it's Antar, and I'm bringing you a little come battle today! It's against Crimson Fireworks. I can't remember how we set this battle up, whether it's through Smogon or somewhere else, but anyway, I lead off with my Natu as he leads off with his Drifloon. I'm gonna go ahead and set up a light screen, expecting him to Shadow Ball me and thinking I might be able to survive. Turns out he goes for the sub first turn, probably a good idea. Uh, he goes for the Sucker Punch the next turn as I switch out. I am so, so pissed that I did this. Had I just, you know, U turns resisted anyway, had I just done an actual switch, Sucker Punch would have failed and it would have all been great, but oh well. I go ahead and send out Angler here because I'm thinking this is the Unburdened Acrobatics set and I'm going to want something that resists that Acrobatics. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and break that sub with a Scald and that's great. I'm going to go ahead and uh, I don't predict the switch unfortunately uh, and I go for the T-Wave just to get him slow. Uh, T-Wave has since been removed for heal bell on my angler and you're going to see why it would really have helped me if I'd had it now in this battle. So he goes ahead and scalds me. Uh, doesn't do very much but he does get burned. We actually each burn each other and so yeah I would probably be able to spell this guy out considering he is an eviolite set if I had uh, the heal bell. So yeah I get a nice crit and I you know I've got a light screen up so I'm not taking too much damage. He goes ahead and goes for the heal bell and so now he's going to be able to stall me out more than likely. I can just keep going for the skull. It's the, it's the attack that'll do the most damage, and I don't really have a free switch in to uh, Chen Chao, at least not off the top of my head. Uh, keep going for the skulls. Really aren't doing very much, uh, and I'm burned. But I'm just hoping that I can get the burn hacks again, force them to either not attack one turn or um, what have you. My my light screen wears off this turn, and I'm just really hoping that I can take him down at the same time. I take uh, he takes me out. Uh, it's not going to work out that way because he's going to scald me here. And I'm, although I do get the burn, I'm down to 3 HP, I'm going to die from the burn, and he's going to be down to like 1 HP. Uh, I'm thinking that basically I can go ahead and get off a free shell smash here, um, just to, because he's going to die from the burn anyway. I know I'm going to take that scald, but even if he burns me, I, it shouldn't be that big of an issue because I do have the Lumberry. So, yeah, he's going to go ahead and Scald, get me down to my Sturdy. Uh, no burn, but as I said, it doesn't really matter. And his Zapper is down, so that's excellent. Scald it out quite well. And now he sends out his Mind Flare. Like, shoot, that sucks because he's going to either he's going to have priority, so I've got to do ahead, go ahead and switch. Uh, predicting the Fake Out, I predicted it quite well. And so now I go for the Sub, predicting him to have to switch out. And indeed, he goes for the U-Turn. Uh, that's not going to break my sub. This is definitely the EVO light set, not the Scarf set. So I really don't have anything to fear from that guy. He goes ahead and sends out um, Houndour. I go for the Sludge Bomb. It's going to KO quite easily, and so that's awesome. And out is going to come his Magnemite. I'm going to go ahead and Shadow Ball it because obviously I can't use um, Sludge Bomb. I get the Spideff Drop, not that it matters most likely. He's going to go ahead and go for the Thunderbolt. That is going to break my sub but I'm going to be able to KO on this next turn with a nice Shadow Ball. So that is a dead Magnemite, and I am happy, and I am hopefully making up for some of the really stupid mistakes I made earlier in the battle. So now out comes this uh, this guy again. I go ahead and go for the Substitute. He goes for the Acrobatics, wastes his Flying Jump, but he is going to now be faster than me. Um, so I know that he's faster than me thanks to Acrobat uh, thanks to Unburdened. So I actually go for the Sucker Punch. He goes for the Sucker Punch as well, and I lose my... Uh, Dark Smoke Puncher, which sucks, but it is what it is. So now, um, I'm going to go ahead and go for the Reflect. Sucker Punch isn't going to do anything. I, had I gone for the sub, it would have, uh, that, on that previous turn, it would have been great. Oh well. Uh, Neela is taken out, and his Drifloon is sweeping through my team. I'm down to one eight, Oh, wait, sorry. Um, I forgot that this was actually my Zora. I was about to say something stupid. I take out his um, Pokemon with a Night Daze, and that is awesome. Chaos is revealed to be my Zoroa, but that really is okay. So out comes Mindfu. I'm going to have to switch out here because I'm fearing that... Well, I know that we're basically at the same speed, but I'm just you know, sending in Hermione as Death Fodder. I can send out my um, Cyndaquil this next turn. It's going to be faster than since a Scarf. Go for the Eruption, and I'm just hoping it KOs. I know that it's probably the Eviolite set, and he does survive with 1 HP, and that's so frustrating, especially considering he's going to regain all that HP with that dream, but, dream Punch. So now I have to send out Chaos, my last Pokemon, and i got to hope that I win the Speed Tie. I do win the Speed Tie, which is excellent. I take out his Mind Fu, and now he's down to his last Pokemon, which is unfortunately this Leap. And I go for the Hidden Power Fighting, hoping that the Expert Belt Boost will be enough to actually KO, but it's not. He's going to KO me with Energy Ball, and that is the game. So great game, Crimson Fireworks. I didn't play as well as I should have. Oh well.